What's up everybody? I'm Jackie Terry. In today's video, we're going to talk about natural intelligence and AI intelligence and how you can use AI to your advantage to get even further in your life, in your business adventures, anything that you want to do, you can actually use AI to help you get a step ahead in your endeavors in life. So we're going to get right into it. So AI doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, right? A lot of people fear AI. I use AI to my advantage. AI is an investment. So now with AI technology, with me being in the field of photography, videography, etc., uh, marketing, personal training, I use AI to, to create business paradigms. So, if I don't know the answer to a question, or if I'm looking up specific information, I will go to my AI tracker. It's an essay reader, right? So this essay reader is going to tell me everything I need to know. If I need to know anything, it's going to break it down into small increments and it's going to give me a paradigm. It's going to give me a graph. It's going to give me a model. It's going to give me a model where I can understand and it's going to give me a blueprint layout. So with that blueprint layout, it's going to give me all the materials I need as a stepping stone to get the job done. So this is what AI is all about. However, where natural intelligence come into play, which you have to have because if you have AI doing the work for you, AI is controlling you. So as human beings, we want to be able to control AI to get the results we want. So this is what natural intelligence come in. So as you're asking AI the question, it's gonna give you a blueprint, small increments, this is when you take your natural intelligence because now you've been exposed to new information. Like, right? wait a minute, I didn't know this. Hold on, hold on. That's when you use your natural intelligence to go deeper. That's when you buy the books, right? You buy the books and you actually go deeper into the studying. You take notes, you put it down into the universe because now the more you know about a subject, the more you're exposing yourself to new education, new paradigms, a new way of thinking. You're creating new neural pathways within your brain cells, right? You're going through newer genesis, so you're creating new neurons. So the moment you learn something new, it's exciting to your brain. You're creating new pathways. So you can use AI as a form of a teacher. In an instant, you can type in anything and it's going to come up with an answer, it's going to come up with a layout, it's going to come up with a blueprint. Same as video editing, right? So now you can cut your video editing in half if you wanted to. So what I use AI for is templates. So as a videographer and as a content creator, you constantly have to match the demographic of the world that's going on today. And let's face it, the average person in the world cannot focus for very long. The average person can only focus to seven to 10 seconds at best. That's because of the new technology, social media. So in social media, you have, you constantly have these shorts. You constantly have these reels, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, uh, a minute. And you just keep scrolling down. You become part of this pattern. It's almost like being a zombie. You're constantly scrolling down. So, People aren't able to focus for that long. So in, in production, if I'm doing a commercial and if I want people to see the aesthetic look of the video, this is where AI comes in. Because I can create the video professionally with my camera, get 4K footage, get the angles, change the lenses, change the focal length of the lenses, change the aperture and exposure and get the aesthetic look I want for the camera footage. But this is where I take it to AI, right? 
So what I do is break down the key points of that event, the key points, the aesthetics. Then after that, I break these down, the clips down into small increments. So I have about, about 10 clips, maybe 10 different photos. I then drag those 10 clips and those 10 photos over to the AI system, right? So when I say AI, this AI can be generated anywhere. It can be through a video lead app. It can be through an app on your iPhone. As long as it's AI generated, the AI will do the work for you. So I combine these clips, I combine these videos together, and the AI makes me this fantastic template. Something that would take hours to do on my computer. Now, it's just taking seconds, right? I'm creating slideshows, I'm creating video clips, I'm creating aesthetic templates in a matter of seconds. That's the benefit of AI. Because remember, one thing we can't get back in this world is time. We cannot get time back. So time equals value, right? So the more time I have, the more value I can create for myself. I can create some self-love time. I don't have to spend hours at a computer. So now, with the power of AI, I can make templates, right? You can also use AI for learning. So now they have Quizlet. If you don't know what Quizlet is, it's a flashcard, it's a flashcard website. But also, you can use it to test yourself. This is a form of AI. So, if I'm asking AI to generate a question and to generate answers for me, I can go to Quizlet now, and then after that, I can type these notes in on Quizlet and it will automatically give me a test. So the more you can recall information, the more you're going to learn it. So that AI can be the new teacher, right? However, once again, this is where natural intelligence comes in because AI can only get you so far. Once you learn the vocabulary, once you learn how to clarify what you're learning and you adapt it to it, that's when you go further into the books because you understand the language. And that's when you start testing yourself. You start applying active recall. If you don't know what active recall is, it's your brain searching for the answer. You're thinking of the answer. It doesn't just come to you. So you're learning, you're creating neuroplasticity within the brain cell. You're creating new neurons, new pathways. So you're thinking, you're learning. You're like, wait a minute, I think I know this idea, right? Come on. So you're getting excited. And the more you can learn, and the more you can self-teach yourself, then the more further you will become in life. There's a lot of hidden messages a lot of hidden things are hidden from us in this world on purpose because they want you to pay for it however if you're able to self-teach yourself right read the books expose yourself to new knowledge and a new environment then you will become that higher version of yourself ai will help you get there a lot quicker Remember, AI is for you, not against you. But you have to have natural intelligence to be able to control the AI. You tell the AI what to do. The AI doesn't control you. So, you're not just a robot. You're not just talking and it sounds robotic. You know, that, like, uh, yeah, you could tell, right? With natural intelligence, you actually know. You actually know. You're actually able to articulate what you're talking about and clarify what you're talking about in a way where people can understand. You can break it down. You can break it down in the segments. You can break it down in the summaries. You can. You know it. You're at a complete flow state. You're at that gamma state right now where you can talk. You can express, and then other people will follow that. So my advice, get an AI program. And if there's anything you want to know, type it in that AI program. Of course you will have to pay. Like a lot of the stuff, 
that is self-education, AI, you're gonna have to invest, right? And my thing is we invest in the everything. We invest in materialized clothes, materialization more than anything, but we, how come we can't invest into our own self-knowledge, which will take us even further than what we can ever imagine? How can we can't invest into that? How come we can't invest into ourselves, right? Our emotional intelligence. So with the power of AI and just learning how to work AI, and then with the power of self-knowledge, the power of self-teaching, the power of self-discipline, and what I mean by that is reading, actually going into what you're studying, uh, acquiring uh, proper education. Because if you want to put yourself in a higher state of thinking, in a higher level, you need to follow the four E's, like education, exposure, experience, and environment. So your environment has to change, right? If you're in a bad environment, how can you ever grow? How, you can, how can you ever adapt to it? So then, now, you have to educate yourself. You have to put yourself in the right education, right? So that means you have to study, you have to learn, you have to read. And with learning comes emotion because if you like what you're doing, you're going to be emotionally attached to it. So make sure you find the subject that you love and that you're passionate about. That's where the education comes in. So if you miss ex education with in emotion, then you're, then you're going to learn it a hell of a lot faster because you're now, you're actually entwined to it. You want to do it, not, it's not a chore. You, you desire to acquire this information. Next, ex exposure. We fail to expose ourselves to new environments, to new education. So the more you can expose yourself to new things, new elements that you have never seen before, the more your subconscious mind is going to implement that into your long and short term memory. So now just exposing yourself to new information changes the way you think because now your thinking pattern is different, right? It's exposing itself to new information that's exciting to you. So with the new information, you can articulate that new information to a friend, to a family, uh, to yourself. You can study that new information. And then to a point where that new information that you're studying is not only a part of your long-term memory, but it's a part of who you are. It changes who you are. And it changes who you are for the better. But it's all about being self-aware and exposing yourself to that new information so you be, can expose yourself to the future version of you, the higher version of you that is in this current reality right now that we're in, but you're not attached to that reality, right? So in order to attach that reality, you have to look towards your future self and see what your future self is doing to create that reality you one right facts next is experience so the education you got the education right you know what you're talking about you got the exposure you keep exposing yourself to new information you got the environment you change your complete environment i changed it right i changed that whole environment i'm getting ai i'm learning from ai right so i changed that cool now it's the execution. You execute what you're learning. So you go out into the real world. You talk. You talk in front of the camera. You tell your friends what you're learning. And then that's when you start to change lives because now you're executing what you're learning. You're actually implementing what you're learning into the universe. It's not just in your mind, but you're implementing whatever you learn into the universe to create a better reality and to create a better reality for other people that still might be lost in the matrix that's going on today. That's where the execution comes in. 
because knowledge isn't power. The execution of knowledge is power. So if I have all this knowledge and I'm not spreading that knowledge into the universe, what am I really doing? What am I really doing to help myself? And what am I really doing to help the other people out here that really needs it? So the execution of knowledge is powerful. So once you get these E's in line, exposure, education, environment, execution, that's when you go to experience. That's when you become a teacher. You become a teacher. The experience will teach you. And don't be afraid of failure either. Because you will fail, but failure is always a good thing, right? You go into the experience, and now that experience is molding you, right? It's getting you out on that playing field. It's exposing you to new opportunities because now you experienced it and you. The moment you can expose and experience new opportunities, it creates new value, it creates new education, it creates new people, it creates new bonds. So my advice is to expose yourself. Use your natural intelligence, but also use AI to your advantage to expose yourself into a new world because the more knowledge that you have, the more you can expose yourself to the stuff that you want to do because the ego will tell you, hey, I don't need to know that. I know everything, right? Don't let the ego blind you because the ego is prideful. The ego knows everything. And so when you know everything, what is there else to learn? You fall into a depression, right? <laughs> the ego will self-sabotage you. Don't fall into that ego. Become a student. Become a master. Become who you are meant to be by constantly learning every day. Once again, I'm Jackie Terry. I know AI is taking over. I know it might be fearful to a lot of people, but I know that the human mind, the human spirit, and with the power of God, we can control within. That's what's in front of us. And we're not going to let the AI control us because now we are naturally intelligent enough to control the AI and to create new opportunities with that AI and expose ourselves to new information, new education, and new experiences and exposures that, that's going to be applicable to our life. I'm Jackie Terry.